To understand Python programming, you need to understand variables. A variable is a location in the computer's memory that is given a name. The program can store data inside that named location, inside that variable. Use data already stored inside that named location. Change data stored inside that named memory location. A variable is a location in the computer's memory that is given a name. In this video, I am using this table to represent the computer's memory. So here is one memory location, here is another memory location, here is another memory location, etc. Let's look at some examples of variables in Python programs. Line 1 of this program creates a new variable named first name and stores inside it the string Kim. Line 2 creates a new variable named second name and stores inside it the string Chan. Line 3 looks up what has been stored in variable first name and then outputs it, prints it on the screen. Kim is in variable first name, so Kim is output. Line 4 looks up what is stored inside variable second name and then outputs it on the screen. Chan is in variable second name, so Chan is output. The program has now finished running, so the variables and everything in them are deleted from the computer's memory. The first two lines of this program are exactly the same as in the first program. Line 1 creates a new variable named first name and stores inside it the string Kim. Line 2 creates a variable named second name and stores inside it the string Chan. Line 3 outputs the string she is called and then looks up what is stored in variable first name. It outputs what it finds. Line 4 outputs the string her last name is and then looks up what is stored in variable second name. It then outputs what it finds. Notice how lines 3 and 4 use a comma to allow us to have two things inside the brackets after the instruction print. We have a string, followed by a comma, followed by the contents of a variable. The program has now finished running, so the variables and everything in them are deleted from the computer's memory. We can put more than two things inside the brackets after the instruction print if we use more commas. In line 3 of this program, we have two commas allowing us to have three things in the brackets. One, two, three. When data is stored in a variable, we say the data is assigned to the variable. In Python, the equals sign is used to tell the program to assign the data that is on the right-hand side to the variable that has been named on the left hand side. Line 1 creates a variable named first name then assigns the string Kim to this variable. Line 2 creates a variable named second name 
then assigns the string chan to this variable. Line 3 outputs, prints, the string she is called. Then it looks up what is stored in variable first name and outputs that. Then it looks up what is stored in variable second name and outputs that. The program has now finished running so the variables and everything in them are deleted from the computer's memory. If you see the word assign or assigning or assignment it means storing data in a variable. Variables can be assigned, in other words they can store either a string or an integer or a float or a boolean value. In this program the variables are all assigned integers, whole numbers. Line 1 creates a variable named num1 and assigns the integer 23 to it. Line 2 creates a variable named num2 and assigns the integer 5 to it. Line 3 outputs what has been assigned to variable num1. Line 4 outputs what has been assigned to variable num2. Line 5 creates a new variable named total. The program then looks up what is stored in variable num1 and what is stored in variable num2. It then adds these two values together. 23 plus 5 equals 28. So 28 is stored in variable total. The last line outputs what is stored in variable total. This program again creates a variable named num1 and assigns to it the integer 23. It then creates a variable named num2 and assigns to it the integer 5. Line 3 creates a variable named total and assigns to it the result of adding together what has been stored in variables num1 and num2. The last line outputs five things. The integer stored in variable num1 followed by the plus sign a string, followed by the integer stored in variable num2, followed by the equal sign, another string, followed by the integer stored in variable total. The first three lines of our final program are the same as the first three lines of our previous program. Line 4 then looks up what has been assigned to variable total and outputs it. Look carefully at line 5. It doesn't create a new variable, but it changes what is stored in variable num1. 23 is replaced by 10. Line 6 now changes what has been assigned to variable total. It looks up what is in variable num1. It looks up what is in variable num2, it adds these together, 15, and stores that in variable total. The final line outputs what is in variable total. Remember, a variable is a location in the computer's memory that is given a name. For example, 
num1. The program can assign data to, that means store data in, a variable. For example, 10. The program can use data stored inside a variable. For example, using data stored in variable num1 and data stored in variable num2 just here. The program can change data stored inside a variable. For example, it changes what is stored in variable num1 just here. It changes what is stored in variable total just here. Variables are called variables because the program can vary change what is stored inside them.